Hey guys, this is not gonna be a long video of me talking about my dreadlocks for a long time. I just quickly wanted to give you an update because yesterday I got more of my loose hair dreaded, which means that I am no longer, I'm still, I still have partial dreadlocks, but it's not as much as the day before yesterday. So I wanted to show you where I have, where my dreadlock stops and my loose hair starts because a lot of you have been asking me that questions, that questions <laughs> so many times. So I kind of just wanted to clear everything up with you guys today and um, show you how it all looks. So let's just take out this. And this is what's left of my loose hair. It's not a lot anymore. So this is kind of the dreadlock look that I have now. And for those of you who are wondering where my dreadlock stops and my loose hair begins, let me just show you if I can. So my dreadlocks, they stop up here. I hope that you can see that. There's a line here where the dreadlock stops. And then down here is like the loose hair. So everything in the back is dreaded and then it stops here in the front of my head and goes down here to like in front of my ears. That's where like the line goes. So my scalp is sore again today. It is every time that I get new dreadlocks like created. It's always sore in the first few days. So that's the stage that I'm on at the moment. But this is one of the dreadlocks that we put in yesterday. And this is one of them. And also I just counted my dreadlocks this morning. So if any of you want to know, I have 47 dreadlocks. In my last set, I started out having 74 dreadlocks when I first got them made. And that was with dreading like all of my hair. So I, I assume that if I was going to get my entire head dreaded again, it would be about 74 dreadlocks. But since I've decided to keep a lot of the hair in the front loose, then it's 47. Was it 47 or 48? I think it was 47. Um, so that's the number of dreadlocks that I have now. And I also just want to show you how it looks in the back because I did a video I think two weeks ago where I talked about like my hair and what were what was I gonna do with this messy hair because I had so much loose hair in the back. So I kind of just want to show you how it looks now. I'm just gonna put in a clip from the last video. You can just see how much loose hair I had. It was really hard to control because it kept getting really like frizzy and getting all like tucked up into my dreadlocks. It was like a mess. I couldn't control it, not using like gel or oil or anything. So I wanted to get that dreaded as well and I just want to show you how it looks now. So let me just turn around. This is gonna be hard. It was hard last time like showing you but I think I'll manage. So this is how it looks now without too much loose hair. In the back. It's all been Nicely done. Ow, my legs. Oh, that was like a workout. So I am myself really happy with the look now. Having um, a little bit of loose hair still in the front because I think it gives it a bit of a soft look and I really like that on myself. And um, then having all of it in the back dreaded, I really like that. So I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And that was just pretty much just to update that I wanted to give you guys on the partial dreadlocks and getting even more of it dreaded. So you now know where the line goes. And um, yeah, I can't wait for these new ones to settle. As you can see, they are... You can see that they're new. They're pretty like fluffy up here compared to... Oh, can I show you one? Like some of these, they're not as fluffy if we compare. It's hard to see, but it's really easy to feel. And um, yeah, I think that was it. If you have any dreadlock related questions, anything you would like for me to answer in an upcoming dreadlock related video, then comment down below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this small update. I just really wanted to just like tell you guys that 
the loose hair has now been taken care of and I'm really happy with the results. So yeah, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't and I'll see you all soon. Bye!